Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you everything I eat in a day as a vegan and yeah, it's going to be great. Today's video is sponsored by Olipop, but we'll get into that later. Honestly, I have a lot of work to do today. Um, I've kind of let my work like recipe development and photography stuff creep up on me and I gotta get some ish done today. I don't really know what I'm gonna actually accomplish today. My to-do list is really long, um, but I'm going to do the best I can. And I'm actually gonna start with like an impromptu little plant tour. Some of you guys requested this in my last video. A lot of my plants are in my bedroom right now because we're currently remodeling um, the main floor of this house and it's just too dusty down there. So I currently sleep in a jungle, which has kind of been nice. So I'm definitely not a plant expert. I'm just gonna quickly show you what we got. Um, and then I'll show you the few other spots I have plants in my house too. First I need to make the bed though. It's honestly not really organized. As you can see, we got plants stacked on top of other plant stands. <laughs> this is temporary, but long term I might include a few plants here. So um, we'll start with these. This one in the corner is a Birds of Paradise. And then this one is a rubber tree. And then right here I have two Monsteras. This one I actually got about this size from Lowe's. It was really healthy for like 80 bucks. I got a yellow leaf, but it's still doing okay. I actually really need to repot that one. It's a little bright, but here's my other Monstera. Look at this new leaf. I'm actually more proud of this one because I grew it from like a tiny little baby plant. I don't know if I have a picture of it, but if I do, I'll put it on the screen right here. Over here we have a snake plant, and then we have another rubber plant. And then this one, I'm actually not sure the name. Jasmine from Sweet Simple Vegan gave it to me for my birthday two years ago. It was like this tall originally, but it's like getting too tall. It keeps falling over. So it's kind of wonky looking. And then down here, honestly, I don't know the name of this one. It's a succulent. Hello. Over here, we have a ZZ plant that has honestly gotten huge. It just keeps growing. And like, I don't even know what to do with it at this point. It's wingspan is so large. I have some more uh, succulents and aloe in the bathroom. And then we also got a random bamboo plant here. I have another fern in another part of my bathroom and the edges are looking a little crispy, but you can't really tell on camera, so that's good. There's this little uh, stringy type succulent in my office. Oh shoot, I forgot to water this one. Uh, yeah, it's not looking too hot. I have this lone pothos in my kitchen that I need to dust regularly because it's just way too dusty down here but I just keep it there because it makes me happy. More succulents in a windowsill, which is also in a bathroom. Another dusty plant. This one's a snake plant too. Some cacti, some monstera cuttings that I cut on accident and then just let die in a jar. Um, there's another plant there. It's kind of dark, but I don't feel like brightening it. Please excuse the mess. This was my kitchen for a while. It still kind of is, but it's actually the laundry room. And then down in my basement, I have a fiddle leaf fig. I don't know what that plant is. It's not looking so hot, so let's not zoom in. And then this is, I think, a philodendron. This is my filming setup. That's why my cookbook's there. But this one is like exploding. There's new growth on like just everywhere. It keeps getting super, super long. So this is probably the one I'm taking the best care of right now. And that concludes my plant tour. Honestly, I haven't bought any new plants for a while. I kind of went through a phase where I bought a lot and then I've just been trying to keep them alive. So they're pretty large now. Like you can't get most of that size at the hardware store unless you're paying a lot of money. Not just hardware store, but nursery. You know what I'm trying to say. But I honestly buy most of my plants from Home Depot or Lowe's. I just make sure that they look really healthy. Um, I have gotten a few as gifts. And then I did get a few when I first moved out here from a local nursery, but it was more like the Southern Portland area and I don't live too close to that anymore. That's my plant tour. Hello, I braided my hair, did some work, and I'm about to have lunch, but first we're gonna talk about today's video sponsor, which is Olipop. Olipop, Olipop, Olipop. Olipop makes thoughtfully crafted sparkling tonics made from wholesome and hardworking ingredients. So think of it like soda, but with a twist because it's actually a tonic and it's packed with prebiotics, botanicals, and plant fiber. I first started drinking Olipop about probably two years ago. And as soon as I tried it, I was obsessed. I feel like it's a really unique product out there on the market. There's nothing quite like it. And the flavors are so good. It's honestly really hard to pick a favorite and it kind of depends on my mood, so. When I'm feeling bright and fruity, I like to go for the strawberry vanilla because it's sweet, delicious, and it reminds me of the strawberries and cream popsicles I used to have as a child, but in the best way possible. 
when I want to feel refreshed but still kind of cozy. I love the ginger lemon flavor. It's untraditional for a soda, but it honestly tastes so good to me. I also love drinking this whenever my stomach feels a little weird. It's really, really soothing too. Today though, I'm feeling a little classic and nostalgic. So I'm going to go for Olipop's classic root beer. Root beer was my favorite soda as a kid. And I swear, this tastes just like it. I even spilled on myself when I was a kid too. <laughs> they also make a cola that tastes really good. That one is Dylan's favorite. We can find this at our local grocery store, but it's definitely not available everywhere locally, but no worries because you can buy it online. So today, Olipop and I are offering you 20% off of their variety pack. So you can try six of their flavors and pick which one of those is your favorite. I guarantee it's gonna be pretty hard, but you're gonna enjoy the process. So you can use code from my bowl. I will have the link in the description below as well. It's just so refreshing. I actually drank one of these that I bought from the grocery store in I think like two videos ago. I'm a very dedicated fan. And for all the ingredient people, I just wanted to speak a little bit on the prebiotics and botanicals and plant fiber. I think it's really cool because honestly, it just tastes like soda, but it has really interesting ingredients. There's chicory root, Jerusalem artichoke, kudzu root, cassava fiber, and marshmallow root. And you know, that sounds really healthy, but it really doesn't taste like that at all. I just think it's really, really awesome how you can drink pop or a sparkling tonic that actually makes you feel better afterwards. One of the reasons I stopped drinking soda when I was a kid was because I noticed that it would really hurt my teeth after I drank it because it is traditionally rather high in sugar. Um, but with this, I don't feel like that at all. And like I said earlier, it actually kind of soothes my stomach. It's nice to have something bubbly and the prebiotics also interact with the probiotics in your gut, so. It's a good combo. And all their flavors are gluten-free, non-GMO, and vegan. So you can try them all. Okay, so go click that link. And now I'm gonna show you what I'm going to have for lunch. I'm not just gonna have soda. I'm gonna have a few things with it. So we got our root beer. And then this is what I was working on for work. Um, I'm making some balsamic marinated mushrooms. And I took a photo of them on avocado toast. And then I also made like a basic balsamic vinaigrette. And I wanted a picture of a salad to go in the blog post. So I just took photos of these for the blog and now I'm gonna eat them for lunch because no food goes to waste in this house. Also, look at how cute Lily looks. She's just curled up in her little cocoon like a sweet, sweet angel. Lily. Hello again. Um, so it's dinner time now. I relaxed a little bit after lunch and I actually watched um, an episode of Grey's Anatomy to chill for a bit. And I had a snack uh, of some apples and peanut butter. Uh, the lighting was really bad, but you know. And now I'm here with my dogs. Maya, you're just out of the frame, but you look so cute. I know. Okay, anyway, sorry. I am currently in my basement. We have the guest bedroom to our house down here. Um, and it's currently my makeshift work studio. So I had to make another recipe today um, for the blog. And I thought I would show you some unglamorous BTS because um, like I mentioned in previous videos and I mentioned this one too. We're renovating the main floor and it's just way too dusty up there still. And there's just construction stuff everywhere so it really doesn't make sense for me to carry my stuff up and i'm kind of been shifting my work week too um today's the weekend and so the construction crew isn't there so i've kind of been taking more days off during the week as like my weekend and then working on the weekends because i have access to the whole house and there's no noise going around you've been warned it's not glamorous or cute or clean okay okay it is a hot mess. So usually I film on my kitchen island and I have my other kitchen counters um, to cut on, but I don't have that here. So I have been carrying stuff down on baking trays and cutting on cutting boards on the floor. And then I have this folding table that I film on. I have my lights there and then my camera mounts on top of this. And then this is what you guys see, the pretty, pretty video. Um, actually, I'm really excited about this recipe though. I'm gonna eat it for dinner. I made vegan beef and broccoli using soy curls and I used a secret ingredient to make them a little bit darker, but look how tasty this looks. So I'm about to eat this. I'm just going to clean up a little bit, but this is the reality behind recipe testing. And then I shoot my photos um, with flash. So I have that set up here. And this is what you guys see again, the pity background and not all the crap that's around it. I actually just made this accent wall and I'm very proud of it. Um, but yeah, this is my setup right now. Lots of crap and 
beggar dogs. Don't worry, they don't actually eat that stuff though. They're pretty good. They just sit and watch me and see if I'll maybe get them a broccoli end or something. I'll make it later. Lily B. Everyone thought you were so cute in the last video. And they asked how your ears got so big. But we don't know, do we? She, we did a DNA test on her and she's just like a complete mixed green. Anyways, total rambles. This is why I turned the camera on because I wanted to show you that this is going to be my dinner. So I'm going to have this and I'll talk to you guys when I have dessert. So for dessert, I am having this no-bake chocolate pie. Um, I actually shot this yesterday and then just stuck it in my fridge. So I'm going to for dessert tonight. And then I also have a glass of oat milk. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out All I Pop. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And don't forget you can use code for my bowl to get 20% off of their variety pack. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Look at how sweet this is. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. Oh, dogs are the best. Okay, well, I hope you guys have a great day and continue to have one. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.